Hi everyone, it's me again, and today I'm going to talk to you about the first live-action Cartoon Network show. So, how did I get here? Well, I remember growing up, there was this show on BBC Kids called William's Wish Wellingtons, and it had this bop of a theme song. Oh man, that is such a good theme song. My goodness. Anyways, now it was narrated by the guy who played Manuel in Faulty Towers, and it was produced by Hibbert Ralph Entertainment, who also made the show Spider, which I also used to watch on BBC Kids. So, a few years ago, I was talking to a friend about really catchy theme songs, and I mentioned William's Wish Wellingtons. Now, my friend told me that they used to watch it on Cartoon Network. Sure, that makes sense. It's a cartoon. Cartoon Network would play it. But then, my friend said to me, Well, it was part of a live-action show, a show with puppets. Well, you probably know about it, since you know everything about puppet shows. Well, I, in fact, do not know everything about puppet shows, and I especially had no clue about a puppet show on Cartoon Network that had William's Wish Wellingtons aired within it. So, I went online and found exactly the show they were talking about. The show was called Big Bag, and it was indeed on Cartoon Network. It was actually Cartoon Network's first live-action series. It ran for two seasons between 1996 and 1998, and it was produced by Turner and the Children's Television Workshop, which is now Sesame Workshop. So, do you remember Big Bag? It's so familiar, but it's also not. The main puppeteer is Joe Mazzarino, and he plays the character Shelley. Now, Mazzarino is known for portraying Murray, on Sesame Street, as well as writing on shows such as Kidding and Don Quixote. Um, There were also other animated segments on the show that I watched elsewhere, including Slim Pig and Troubles the Cat. And Troubles the Cat is the first totally original cartoon based on Latino characters to air in the United States. So all of these familiar elements were in this show, but I never actually watched it. And I don't think anyone else did either. (laughs) Except for that one friend. So, the first season of the show ran one hour long, and it was commercial free. So at the beginning of the episode, the character Shelley would ask viewers to bring a bag containing a pair of socks, two spoons, a hat, and a cardboard tube to watch the episode. Get your paper bags ready, guys. Today we're going exploring. Exploring. That means we're going to look all around and check out the store and see what we can find. Oh, yeah. It's going to be lots of fun. Okay. Cardboard tube. Check. Spoons. Check. Sock. P.U. Don't we have any clean socks? Better. Can't go exploring with a smelly old sock. They call me Smelly Jelly. (laughs) And now, my special explorer hat. Come on, you guys. Put on your hats, too. All right. You all look like big-time explorers. The characters would cue viewers when to use the items in the bag. And this was kind of an interesting concept that I assume many children did not actually partake in. But... That is why the show is called Big Bag. So, there's also a human character named Molly, and then there's a bag character named Bag. So they work and live in a general store, and there's also a couple of anthropomorphic socks who hang out in the sock bin. So in the first season, there were many local residents who appeared as side characters. 
And of course, since this was a Cartoon Network show, there are many animated segments, including what I previously talked about, Troubles the Cat, Slim Pig, Williams Wish Wellingtons. There was also an animated segment called Koki and Tobias Tots and His Lion. There were also music video segments that encouraged kids to get up and dance, and these were called the Big Bag Beats. By the second season, all the secondary characters were dropped, and a new main character puppet, Sophie, was introduced to complement Chelly. Most of the animated segments were also dropped, and a couple of new ones were introduced. The Big Bag Beat segments were also removed. Most of all, the show was cut from one hour to half an hour. It lost a great deal of its charm from the first season. Although even Elmo ended up making an appearance, the show ended up being cancelled in September 1998. Well, it hasn't rerun since due to its low ratings and only five episodes were released on VHS during the show's run. This included a video called Sing With Us, which compiled all of the Big Beg Beat musical segments. Due to lack of interest in the show at the time of its cancellation, a great deal of it has been lost. At least 22 episodes of the show are completely lost, and some are only partially found. Now there is a YouTube channel that I think might be the official Big Beg channel, and it's called the U.S. Big Bag Channel. It has a very good amount of Big Bag content if you would like to take a watch. So in conclusion, Big Bag was meant to be Cartoon Network's version of Sesame Street, and it never really quite took off. So I hope you learned something new today, and thank you for tuning in. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Big Bag. Something cool.